I wouldn't say there's no problem. Let's say Antwerp is different, totally different than Brussels. In Brussels, you have a small, small minority of religious Jews. They mostly are non-religious. In Belgium, in Antwerp, it's just the opposite. I think you have around 60-70% today religious Jews and 30% non-religious. The difference between Antwerp and Brussels, also in Brussels, you don't recognize who is Jew and non-Jew because they're not religious and they're also dispersed in all over Brussels. In Antwerp, this kind of a Jewish ghetto, I wouldn't say in a pejorative term, it's a ghetto because people like to live one with the other together because of Jewish school, Jewish jobs. Uh, so an Antwerp Jew is much more recognizable, what you're saying, but it doesn't automatically bring more problems in Antwerp and in Brussels. I even will tell you the truth that uh, the bigger percentage of Brussels Jews immigrating to Israel than Antwerp Jews. Even you would ask why in Brussels, that was my question. I was wondering, this, they're, they're not recognizable, they're, they're living with neighbors, you don't see the difference between Jew and non-Jew, why are they immigrating to Israel? So one of the answers I got, the problem is the education, because they don't have really Jewish schools like we have in Antwerp, so most of the children are going to non-Jewish schools, and they have problems there with their Muslim neighbors and so further. So they feel not at home anymore. And that's why in Brussels you have a big immigration to Israel than even from Antwerp. Okay, so why they don't immigrate to Antwerp from Brussels if it's half an hour? <laughs> yeah, first they're speaking French and here they're speaking Flemish. It's like two different people, that's number one. You have a small, a lot of religion, a lot, they're not so much, but the, the religious Jews from Brussels, they emigrated to Antwerp. Uh, I have a lot of friends originally from Brussels that living in Antwerp because of the education of their school, of the children. So, but for the non-religious, Antwerp is not an answer for them. It's for them another country, number one. Second, if they're non-religious, they don't feel so well in Antwerp, I think, also not.